solving word problem involving fraction using black model method. Before tayo mag-start, may I share to you the learning objectives. So at the end of the session, the pupils are expected to explain the concept of black model in solving fraction word problem. Appreciate the importance of black model in solving fraction word problem. Solving word problem involving fractions using black model. So, syempre, yung mga references natin, marami talaga, kaya lang, isa lang muna yung ilagay ko. And then, yung um, link, isa din, pero actually, marami silang uh, ginawa kong mga references. So, yung mga materials natin, we have colored strips and bars. And then, I also expect na ma-observe sa klase while tayo nag-discuss ng lesson itong uh, biblical or values integration which is diligence in solving. So according to the book of Proverbs chapter 13 verse 4, the soul of a lazy man desires and has nothing but the soul of the diligent shall be made rich. Okay, we'll review time muna tayo. Which is the largest? Fifth, fourth, to third, five, sixth. Okay. The answer is five, sixth. Change into mixed number, the seven six. Okay, we have one and one six. Add one fifth and two fifth. We have three fifths. Subtract 9 sevenths minus 5 sevenths. The difference is 4 sevenths. Multiply 1 fifth and 3 fourths. The product is 3 twenty. Divide sevens the half. The quotient is okay six sevens. Okay, let, let's have discussion about black model method. The black model method of solving mathematical word problems is a method that uses strips, bars, or rectangular regions called models to make the problem solver visualize concepts or even manipulate problem situations. Let's compare these fractions using strips. We have the given. 3 fourths, 1 fifth, 4 ninths. These are the strips of different colors. I have divided by 4 the first strip because uh, I am basing the number of units or boxes according to the denominator, which is 4. Then the second one, which is 1 fifth, I have divided the strip by 5 because I base the number of units or bars according to the denominator, which is 5. And then for the yellow strip, 9 because 9 is the denominator and I have to divide the strip by 9. Now, let's start shading. 
the part of a whole. Out of four, I have shaded the three. Three fourths. So three as part of four. Followed by one over five or one fifth. I have shaded one out of five. Lastly, we have four ninths. I have shaded the four out of nine. So, which is larger? It's very obvious that three fourths is the largest. And the list, of course, it's one fifth. In solving word problem, here are the steps on how to solve problem using block model. A. Understand. So identify what is known and unknown. Draw a bar to promote comprehension and demonstrate understanding. B. Plan. So decide how you will solve the problem. Then analyze the bar to find a solution plan. For letter C, execute the plan. Then use the bar model to solve. For letter D, evaluate. Assess reasonableness using Substitution of the solution for the unknown in the bar model. Okay, let's start with the applications showing the detailed steps on how to solve word problem involving fraction using black model. The first problem or the only problem that will be solved using black model. I spend three-fourths of my money then two-fifths of the rest, and I still have $30 left. How much did I spend? So I spent three-fourths of my money, then two-fifths of the rest. So I have drawn the four bars, then shaded the three out of four. Since it was indicated that I spent three, out of four of my money, or three-fourths of my money. And then the remaining, which is the blue shaded, are divided by five. To identify the two-fifths of the rest. So the red color was shaded out of five to was shaded. Then 30 divided by three equals 10, so meaning each strip corresponds to $10. And this is based on the given $30 that was left. And the remaining, which is red shaded, is 2 out of 5. So how much money did I spend? Let us see the transition. This means that the value per unit is 10. So how can we get the unit? Let's see. Divide the bars equally. Just like what I am showing you today. Then indicate the value per unit. So we have $10 times 15. Have you observed the strips, the bars were equally divided. It started from the two-fifth where it forms five strips 
out of five out of the uh, remaining unit. So $10 times 2 equals $20. So as what we have computed a while ago, the $10 times 15 is equal to $150. Then here comes the $10 multiplied by 2. The other product is $20. So the total, when we added them all, is $170. So there is 10 in every unit as what we have seen. So may I repeat the question? I spent three-fourths of my money, then two-fifths of the rest, and I still have $30 left. How much did I spend? So count the total numbers of units. It is already indicated in the upper left part of the bars. So we 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, $10 times 20 is equal to $200. That is actually the total amount of money spent and left. So let's compute the money that I spent. Let's remember, let's recall that there is 10 in every unit or $10 in every unit. With this $10 times 17, the product is $170. That is actually the amount or the total amount of money spent. And then the uh, total amount of money spent and left 200 minus the money spent which is $170 and the difference went back to the given $30 left which is first indicated in the problem meaning our final answer is $170 I spent $170 Okay, let's have a recap. What do you call a method that uses strips and bars in solving problems? What is the first step in solving a problem? What are the basic operations that are involved in the given word problem? Okay, let's have group activity. Solve this problem using strips. Melody has 20 candies in her bag. She keeps one fourth of them for herself and shares the rest with friends. How many candies will she give to her friends? Okay, for your assignment, I want you to just answer this in a piece of paper. So, of the 50 children in fifth grade, three fifths have a mobile phone. How many children do not have a mobile phone? 